Okay, so you let me know who I'm talking to right now. So you feel the tugging and the pull and everywhere you go and whenever you open your mouth, the evidence of it pours, flows and streams out of you. It's easy for you to do. You can practically perform it with your eyes closed. So you feel as though it's the very essence of you. It can feel as if it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. No matter what else you align yourself to or with this thing. Yes, I said this thing pursues you. It finds and almost haunts. But a better word would be it woos you and it calls you. The calling is calling you. Okay. I'm going to give you a minute. Sila, I'm going to give you a minute. Let that kind of uh, marinate us a little bit. Some of you may feel that if you don't get to operate in it before you die physically, you're going to die spiritually or even mentally give up. As a matter of fact, when you dibble and dabble in it inconsistently, you still feel a, you feel great as if you in your element in your glory. You feel most happy and sort of confident. And I mentioned sort of confident because when we don't actualize or engage in what it, whatever the call is, we still experience that increased nervousness and insecurity because we're not operating in it frequently. I'm talking to myself in here. The other, other evidence is the impact and influence you have on others when you flow in the call and look at, look at that for a moment. Reflect on experience. Experiences you had when you were operating in whatever it is, the call, the mandate, the purpose, the gifting, the talent, the skill. And, and think about the impact you had on others and the influence you had on others when you flow in it, when you flow in it. The Bible lets us know that many are called and few are chosen in Matthew 22. Understand that many are called to do a special work, including the local body, the ones who are chosen to share similar promises and, and work diligently and, and possess tenacity and determination to see what the end will be. I love this scripture and it's one we can glean from. Although it's communicating the call of God to serve, minister, and to become saved, we can get the wisdom and example from it concerning our own life and purpose, and most importantly, God's purpose for our lives, and even our engrafted gifts, talent, skill, ability that he blessed us with to share with the world as long as it's pleasing and acceptable to him. So I ask you again, what is calling you over and over again. He that has the ear, let him hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to him, her. What are you drawn towards? What is your passion? Where are you most effective?